Hey everybody, and welcome to the final episode in this series on how to create the chrome dinosaur in Pi game. The game is pretty much already done, however in today's episode I do still want to add a menu to the game. Now I want the menu to look something like the one you can see on screen right now. So whenever we start the game, this is exactly what we see. And then when we press a button, we can go ahead and start playing the game. However, when we die by colliding into an obstacle, I want the game to send us to a slightly adjusted menu screen that also includes the score that we achieved. So let's begin in the main function and add a variable called death count. And when we begin the game, we of course want the value to be zero. This variable will become very useful in just a moment, so keep that in the back of your mind. Now let's go over to the main loop. Remember how in the last episode, whenever the dinosaur crashed into an obstacle, his hitbox would turn red. However, today, instead of turning the hitbox red, we actually want to go to the main menu. More specifically, when we run into an obstacle, I first want a small time delay before we go to the main menu. So let's remove the line of code that made the hitbox turn red and add in the time delay. I just think it looks a little bit nicer when we see how we failed before going back to the main menu. And we're going to set the time delay to 2000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. And in addition to that, we of course want to increment the death count. And finally, we then want to go on to run the function menu. And we're going to pass in the death count as an argument. Now we haven't created the function menu yet, but we will right now. We will add a call to the main function from our menu function. So we can get rid of the call to the main function over here. So let's go ahead and define the function menu and it's going to have the argument death count, which I just mentioned. Since we want the menu to display the number of points which we scored, the number of points will need to be visible within this function. So let's go ahead and write global points. Then we're going to set run to true and add another while loop. Then in this while loop, we want to start off by creating a white background and declaring the font that we use for the menu text. Now we want to create an if statement, specifically if the death count is zero, which is exactly when we start the game, we simply want to write press any key to start on our screen. However, if we've already played a couple of rounds and the death count is greater than zero, we don't only want to display the text, we also want to have the score. So using an else if statement, we want to say that if the death count is greater than zero, we go ahead and display the text, which is press any key to restart. And in addition to that, we also display the score. Then we can go ahead and determine the position of where we want the score to be written on our screen. And we of course want to blit that onto our screen. Then outside of this if else if pair, we want to set the position of the text. And of course, we also need to blit the text onto our screen. To make the menu screen look a little bit nicer, we're also going to include a small image of our dinosaur running. Then we update the display. And then we also need to add an option to quit the game safely. Finally, we want to give the player the ability to restart the game after he has run into an obstacle. And we can do that by adding another if statement, which runs our main function as soon as any key is pressed. And at the very end, we simply call the menu function and inside the parentheses, we add the death count and we set it equal to zero. All right, that sums it up. Now, if we go ahead and run the game, you can see that we start off with a menu screen. And as soon as we run into an obstacle, we are sent back to the menu screen and it even displays our score. All right, so thanks for tuning into this video. And remember, the code is going to be available in the description right below that like button. And see you in the next video.